Identifying a cause and effect relationship can be made easier when you remember that the cause happens first. The effect will always occur second and only as a result of the first event, the cause. In this first example, Bella got a sunburn. The event that led to her getting the sunburn was that she forgot to put on sunscreen. So that is the cause. Getting the sunburn is considered the effect because it happened only as a result of the first event. The fact that Bella forgot to put on sunscreen caused her to get a sunburn. It is important to pay attention to the wording of sentences because sometimes the cause will not be listed first even though it occurred first in time. In this example, there are two events. A character named Cole got a cavity and he did not brush his teeth. But which event caused the other to happen? The event that occurred first and thereby caused the second event to happen is that Cole did not brush his teeth. It may not be listed first, but you can tell by the writer's logic that it was the cause of Cole getting the cavity. The fact that Cole did not brush his teeth caused him to get a cavity.